What's up everyone, Safe Down here. Welcome back to another Canadian Tire story. As you guys know, going back 10 years ago, I worked at Canadian Tire for about five years and I worked in the automotive departments. And the biggest thing that I hated to do was try to upsell parts that were unneeded. Our store owner and store manager and even our service department manager always wanted us to upsell stuff even if the customer didn't need them. Let's say their brakes are gonna last another 30,000 kilometers and that's the expected life for them that's remaining they still want us to try to get it done now and try to tell them that it needs to be done now and for other things that just were not needed and don't need to be done trying to get somebody to for example me an employee to try to get them to get it done I never liked doing that because if it doesn't need to be done why am I telling the customer that it needs to be done and trying to get them to pay for that and think that it needs to be done because ultimately there's a lot of shops in our area all they have to do is go and get a second opinion, realize that I wasn't being truthful and wasn't telling the truth, and they're not going to come back, especially in a small town. Word of mouth travels very fast, and we have a lot of regulars that if you piss off one regular, a few more might just stop bringing their vehicle to us altogether, and that's why I hated trying to upsell stuff if they were not needed. Now also, corporate once in a while would have secret shoppers call in or even come into the store looking for parts for vehicles vehicles and making sure that we're following different procedures. Now in our area, whenever people call in or came in looking for parts, most of the time they either knew how to install that part themselves, they knew somebody that could install it themselves either for free or cheap, or they had the means of getting it done elsewhere and they just needed the price of the parts and they wanted to know how much that part was going to cost. Now whenever the secret shopper called, I obviously was the one that answered and whenever they uh, were asking for a caliper. I don't remember for what vehicle. I did explain how much it cost, how much the core was, but the one thing I left out is how much it costs to install it. I knew that most of the time people were looking for the price of how much that part costs and they weren't even going to get it done with us. They're going to take it elsewhere to get it done or just do it themselves. That happened all the time. So I never asked if they needed it installed because they usually didn't need it installed. So if they were to bring it up themselves and ask how much it would cost, and then I would go into how long it would take in the shop and how much it would cost for labor. So since I didn't do that with a secret shopper, they did give me a bad report at that time. And obviously that report goes to the store owner, that store owner brings it to the uh, service department manager and then they have to talk to me and they have to bring me the reports, which I did have to read. Basically in the reports, it says that I did everything right except for mentioning about us installing the parts. And I did, like I just said, explain everything to the store manager and say, most people don't get things installed here. They just want the price of the parts and or they're also comparing the prices in different areas or different stores. So they just want the price. So I never upsell and he determines that I was going to change my ways and was very determined that I was going to start upselling stuff. Like I said, even if they didn't need it mention that we can install it and then obviously if it came into the shop and we were installing a parts try to upsell it and say hey now your vehicle's here now you need this now this should be replaced and I hated doing that and I just never liked the idea of that. I do understand on the corporate side there's certain procedures that need to be done and should be done but given that we're in a small town and in small towns Canadian Tire runs completely different than in a large city or even the bigger store locations because a lot of times people don't get the work done here or they do it themselves or know somebody that will do it for free or for cheap so they're not going to get it installed with us to begin with. We also had a mechanic in the shop who in my opinion was sketchy and I never believed a word that he said because whenever it came to certain things he would try to get me to tell the customer other stuff needs to be done in order for him to get more commission for doing extra stuff on the vehicles. For example, let's talk about brakes. Let's say he did a visual inspection of the brakes or a brake inspection to begin with, and he determines that they'll last about another 30 to 40,000 uh, kilometers. That's the life that's left on them. He would always want me to go and get them to try to do it now, and I never told them that. I always was upfront with customers and told them that in about 30 to 40,000 kilometers, you will need to get them replaced, but they are in great condition right now and they will last another 30 to 40,000 kilometers. And he hated that. He always wanted me to tell them to get it done now, but I never liked lying to a customer. And also if he was doing front brakes, he would also look at the rear brakes and he would try to get me to tell customers, hey, 
you need to get your rear brakes serviced, which is another about $50 at the time, and he would get commission off of that. And I never liked lying to the customer because they never needed to be done. He just wanted to do it, so the shop got more money and he got more money, and I never liked lying to the customers. It wasn't just brakes, it was stuff like tires and other mechanical stuff as well that, in my opinion, didn't need to be done, and he knew they didn't need to be done. He was just trying to get more money into the shop and ultimately make more money by getting more things done. He was gonna make more commission. I know other shops do it, but particularly Canadian Tire was very bad for it at the time, and I knew other locations that also did this. And in my opinion, in a small town, as soon as you start being dishonest with your customer and they start to catch on or even take it to another shop to get a second opinion and they say everything is fine, it's going to hurt our business in the long run, which is why I hated doing that, especially a lot of our regulars that I've seen all the time. I wasn't gonna start lying to them and then they're just never gonna trust me anything automotive related again. In my opinion, by keeping our regulars happy, they always kept coming back to us and ultimately was telling their friends and we were getting more people coming into the shop because word of mouth again travels fast, both good and bad. So if we're being honest with our customers, they're gonna tell their friends and we're gonna get more people coming into the shop, but it also could go the other way. If we're lying and they catch on, then it could just hurt our business and less people come into the shop if that makes sense. Comment down below what you guys think. Do you think I was in the rights by not upselling things that were not needed? Or do you think I should have listened to corporate? In my opinion, I did the right thing, but let me know what you guys think down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.